In 2022, we are going to change your lives and the lives of your families, the financial future. We are going to make it big this year. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, traders? I hope you all having a wonderful time, and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas time and a happy New Year. And I, I hope all of you are healthy, and all the loved ones around you are healthy as well. I'm so happy that finally all the holiday season is over, that we can go back to normal, focus on the charts, focus on our dreams and our goals for 2022. I have big goals for 2022. I want to make it really big this year. I want to make even more money than yet, uh, last year. Last year was quite good, but I didn't finish so strong because I was a little bit distracted. A couple of things happened in my private life here and there. My grandma was visiting me on my birthday. Then she fell down, broke her leg, and ah, some some shitty things happened. And I was pretty distracted. On In December, I was not able to make any profits um i was losing a little bit and i was i was not in my zone and i took a couple of stupid trades i was not patient enough i was just not in my zone you know it was was not that good and yeah this year started with four trades with four losing trades in a row i took two losses on gold took two losses on dow jones then euro us dollar was good loaded up finally uh, bring me back in the, in the blues for this year and then today I took another win which is great so I'm back on track and yeah I have my mind clear I I know what I'm looking for I kind of forgot it a little bit like I, when I started I was it was pretty wild I don't know I took I took this Dow Jones trade and it just it just looked so good and but then I took another revenge trade and Whatever, forget about it. Uh, shit happens sometimes, like <laughs> after a holiday season. Sometimes it's it's not that easy to find back into the groove. But uh, but I think I got it now. So yeah, everything will be fine, guys. You know how we do it: small losses, small wins, and big wins. This is how we make it big in this industry. This is how we stay in the game. This is how we make sure that we get paid on a regular basis. No matter if you're working for a prop firm or if you're working on our own accounts, if you are able to cut your losses pretty quick, pretty straight with a straight risk management system where you don't exceed your risk appetite per trade and it's pretty straight and consistent, plus you give the market the chance to fill your pocket with a big move and you are able to get into more and more positions while you, the trade is running in your favor without violating your risk appetite then it's possible to make crazy amounts of money some of you already know it i mean i have so many students who who went through the genius trading masterclass course who are in our inner circle who made it big on a prop firm like ftmo i mean one of our traders he i think it was last month or the month before in november i think yeah he was he was making it on on uh, on rank number two from all the traders in FTMO, like he was really killing it. It was crazy. I saw his results and it was pretty, pretty amazing. And yeah, everybody can do that, guys. If you have the discipline and if you have the work ethic to, yeah, to work on yourself, to understand the psychology behind trading and to actually stick to a set of rules and taking the responsibility of your actions when it comes to trading then you can make crazy gains in this game and you can change the life for you and your whole family and this is what we are going to do this year guys in 2022 we are going to change your lives and the lives of your families the financial future we are going to make it big this year i'm here for you guys I put, I've put my work in it for the last 10 years and I'm ready to help you guys to get on the right path, to help you with your problems, to show you 
what kind of emotional hurdles are waiting for you and to, on how to overcome them, guys. I will be your mentor in this year, all right? So if you need my help, you can always drop me a message. I will answer your chat personally. You can ask me anything you want, all right? You will find a link to my chat down below under this video. So guys, listen up. I want to talk about Euro US dollar real quick and show you why I took the trade. So make sure to take some notes why I took the trade. So you understand how I'm seeing the markets and how I'm reading future market movement. So let's get straight into the charts, guys. I can't wait. Man, it's been a long time. In December, I didn't drop any videos. I think it was crazy. I was pretty lazy. But anyways, let's talk about Euro US dollar. First of all, from the four hour perspective, you see we had like a crazy drop, pretty strong drop. Um, but then we started to, to, um, to break through a couple of highs in here. This one is more or less the major high in, from my perspective. I mean, we just slashed through it and uh, yeah, had a big rejection after that. The market came back in here, slowly bouncing around. So we had like a ranging, a ranging scenario, but lately the market shows me signs of it, signs of an uptrend. It wants to, it wants to start to climb up. You know, you see that, and it wants to achieve higher highs. So I was waiting for the market to get back into an area where other other traders before got stopped out, and the market made a, a big move. You know. So what I, what I saw, we had this range in here, double bottom, market slashed through it, right? We had a big move, market was moving pretty fast, created some imbalance in here, like the market was moving pretty, pretty quick, came back a little bit, made another push to the upside, and then of course we have some stops sitting in here. What the market did, because the market wants to make business, the market maker want, want to make business. So what they did, they bring the price back down, stop out some buyers, trick some sellers into the market, get back into this zone where they have manipulated, like they have manipulated the market here to create a lot of selling pressure so they can get their big buy positions into the market. So they bring price back down, guys, into this zone so they can close their sell positions. Um, yeah, to go all overall long, you know. So they bring it back in here. We had a nice reaction. I failed. I really failed to 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 take profits because my stop was pretty pretty big in here. Uh, this was just like a one to one or something because I was aiming for this liquidity over here because I was thinking like we are going to see higher highs. So I was waiting for the market to push through this high in here. But the market came back pretty steep on the next day even and touched this block again, like this this zone in here before that big push. Like we slashed a little bit through this low in here, grabbed some more liquidity before we had this final push. Then it came back again into this zone and then we had this final push. Uh, I took this trade pretty aggressive and I was holding it because I wanted to swing it. Uh, and I was good loaded up in here. Uh, my risk was around 2% on this trade. I was risking a lot. Um, but yeah, I expected the market to give me a like, uh, good move, you know. And I took some profits in here. And then the market came back. I was loading it up again. Then I took profits in here. Market came back again. I was not able to get in into the market again in here. But this morning I woke up and then I had this I saw this opportunity of a nice continuation trade. So this is what I saw when I opened up the, the charts, right? We had this structure in here, market grabbed some liquidity, then moved to the upside, right? And then <clears throat> it came back down. And as you can see in here, it it, it probably did the same thing. Create a new high, grab the liquidity, the stops, then move to a higher high. Then here the same thing. Move to a higher high, came back to grab the liquidity and then we had a strong push. So this zone, this zone was the last one where the market should tap into because 
it already tapped into this zone in here it already tapped into this zone so this is the last zone so, and then I was like okay <coughs> let's give it a little bit more air to breathe so I put it my stop <coughs> I put it my stop just below this one just below this one and my target was yesterday's high the blue line over here yesterday's high I was like we're going to slash through yesterday's high for sure because here's where a lot of liquidity sits I took some profits in here right at a two to one in here when we slashed to the recent high and then I took another chunk of the table in here so then I had just 20% left on the table I waited for the market to get back into that zone into another zone where I was interested to buy <coughs> So this was so unlucky guys, um, today I would have made nearly, like it was just a half a pip away from making maybe 200,000 today, it was crazy close and the reason was like I was not, I was not really checking like we have, a not, we have a liquidity grab in here as you can see, we had this consolidation on the one minute chart right, then we had this little liquidity grab, huge push, market was going down, uh, was going up, and then we had the same thing in here, ranging, grabbing liquidity from all sides, boom, then we had this final push, right, so this zone is interesting, for sure, and we had a nice reaction, but this one here as well was not really touched, okay, we've touched it in here a little bit, we've touched it in here a little bit, but there still was something on the table and they was they were able they were able to grab it they were just able to grab this liquidity below that one and unfortunately my stop was there as well so i got stopped out missed out on a huge runner i mean here is what I, where i would have t taken some more money off of the table with, with a with a lovely uh, what's that like 5 to 1 Man, that would have been easy, another 3% profit for the day. Yeah, easy, easy money. Maybe I would have, would have made even like 300,000, I don't know. But it was just half a pip away. I was pretty sad, believe me guys. But as a trader, you need to understand you are going to miss out on these opportunities. It happens, guys. You need to understand the market will open up again tomorrow. You will find another entry. You will find another chance to put your money on the table and try to make something the market will open up again tomorrow don't try to rush things don't try to don't try to force a trade because you feel like you are you have missed out on something and you need to make it you know guys breathe out breathe in relax take a deep breath and just relax don't take a trade if it's not fit your plan if it fits your plan why not take it but many times i find traders beginner traders if they missing out on something or if they take a losing trade they start to revenge trade they feel like they had to trade guys you are we are not making money when we trade forget about it we make money when we wait for our setups and if we're sticking to it consistently because if you try to trade all these different things, you will have a randomness of rewards. Like, it's so random. You cannot put consistent gains behind your trading if you tr try to trade everything. Uh, you cannot work on a, on a consistent statistic if you're trying to trade everything. So guys, relax. Wait for your setup if you have one. If you don't have a setup, let me know. Just drop me a message. I will help you to find some. Okay, set up a trading plan and all that good stuff. I will help you to do that, no problem, guys. Just let me know. And another thing, I want to talk about the Genius Trading Masterclass course real quick because the time is running out for this one. In one day, three hours, the price might change from 447 and maybe it goes up, I don't know yet. But take, take a look if you are a struggling trader or if you're a complete beginner, take a look into this course curriculum. There's everything you need to become a consistently profitable trader. We go over everything. We go over retail concepts, we go over smart money concepts, 
We have everything inside in here, guys. Really, everything you need to become a consistent trader and to make a career out of trading. And I will be your guidance, plus a big community of traders. We have more than 2,500 traders in our group chat, guys, who are helping each other, who are sharing trading ideas and all that stuff. So everything is inside. Take a look what is inside the chapter 11, Beat the Market Makers, x -ray strategy. This is where the magic happens, where you learn how to understand market movements, how the market makers manipulating the market, how you can spot these manipulations so you can bank off of that and get in with them on the market, you know? Yeah, this is what you should learn in 2022. It is a high paying skill set that everybody needs. This is what you should learn in 2022, guys. And I'm sure if you're watching my video until now, you're interested in trading. And if you're not in the team yet, man, join the team. 2022, we are going to make it big. You have to change something. And I'm going to help you to do it. I'm going to help you to make it right. The time is now, guys. Life is too short for later, all right? Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know if you like this video and drop a comment. Let me know where you stay on your trading journey, where you need help. I'm here to help, man. Just let me know. Drop me, uh, drop me a message. And yeah, wish you all the best, guys. See you in the next video. And I'm sure I'm going to talk about more of my trades this year. I will make drop a lot of videos. So make sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button and join my free Telegram channel as well. Sometimes I'm sharing some trading ideas in there. So maybe you can make some money off of them. Let's see. But that's it for now, guys. Stay healthy. Stay tuned. Have a good time. Peace out. Thank you for your time. Yeah.